This is capacity and measurement. Example 1. Determine the number of tiles needed for the bathroom. So if you want to know how many tiles will fit into this bathroom, we can take the length of the bathroom and divide it by the length of a tile. So we've got the length of the bathroom here at the bottom, 4.4 meters, and we've got the length of the tile on top, there's 90 centimeters. And we do the same thing for the width. If you want to see how many tiles will fit in width, divide the width um, of the bathroom by the width of each tile. Uh, and then we can multiply the fittings. The only issue is if the dimensions of the bathroom are given in liters, but the dimensions of a tile are given in centimeters, then we cannot divide. We cannot divide meters by centimeters. So we need to convert either centimeters to meters, or we can convert the meters to centimeters. I'm going to convert the meters to centimeters. Each meter is 100 centimeters. So if I want to change the 4.4 meters here at the bottom, I can just multiply by 100. 4,4 times 100 will give you 440 centimeters. We also need to change the width. 2.9 meters multiplied by 100 will give us 290 centimeters. Now that we've got the dimensions of the bathroom in centimeters as well, we can do this calculation. So we check how many tiles we can fit in length. So we will take the length of the bathroom there at the bottom, the 440 centimeters, and we will divide this by the length of each tile uh, on top there, 90 centimeters, to see how many tiles we can fit in length. All right, let's do that calculation. So it's 4,8888 recurring eight. Now, this we're going to round up immediately to five tiles. As soon as you've divided, you must round off uh, to see how many tiles will fit in there. And the reason we round up when it comes to capacity, remember, if we would round down, then that means we might have an extra gap that's not covered. So we always round up. Uh, no matter what, when it comes to capacity and tiles. Uh, so let's do the same calculation. Let's now check how many tiles we can fit in width. So then we will take the width of the bathroom, 290 centimeters, and we divide it by the width of each tile, which is 100 centimeters. This will give us 2.9, but we can round it off to uh, three tiles. 200, 290 divided by 100 is 2.9. But as we said, with capacity, we round up. So we have three tiles that will fit in width. So then if we are calculating the total number of tiles, it should be five tiles that will fit in length multiplied by the three tiles that would fit in width. So we have a total of 15 tiles. Let's look at example two. All right, we have a Coca-Cola bottle, and we also have a can. And what we want to know is how many, uh, sorry, we also have a cup. How many cups, 200 milliliter cups, we can get from the 2.25 liters of Coca-Cola. So also, this is a simple calculation. We want to know how many cups we'll be able to get from the Coke. We divide the volume of the Coke by the volume of the cup. But then again, the volume of the Coca-Cola is given in uh, liters, but the volume of the cup is given in milliliters. So we have to change one. I'm going to change the volume of the Coca-Cola to 2.25 liters, and each liter has 1,000 milliliters. So we multiply the 2.25 by 1,000. This will give us 2,250 milliliters. Now we can do this calculation. We want to know how many cups can be poured from the Coke. We can take the volume of the Coca-Cola and divide it by the volume of the cup. All right, so let's check this out. It's 2,250 divided by 200. 11,25. Now, 
The question now is do we round up or do we round down? When it comes to volume, we have to round down. Remember, if you round up, uh, that uh, last can will not be filled. I mean, that last cup will not be filled. So you have to round down. So the 11,25, we round down to 11 cups. So with volume, we always round down. So let's look at uh, the last example. All right, so here we've got uh, a cooler box. We've given the dimensions of the inside of the cooler box. That's the length of the cooler box. The 50 is the width of the cooler box, and the 30 is the height. Uh, we also given dimensions of a Coca-Cola can, uh, where we've got the diameter of 7. Now, let me just show you. Uh, let's look at the bottom of the can. If we're looking at this can from the bottom, you will see that the length of a cylinder and the width of the cylinder are the same. Right, they both equal to the diameter because this is the length uh, of the cylinder and the black line is the width. Both lines are equal. So both the length and the width of a cylinder will always equal to uh, of a circle, which is the bottom of the cylinder, will always equal to the diameter. So when it comes to the can, uh, the 7 here, the diameter is going to be the length and the width. Of course, that's the height. So how many uh, Coca-Cola cans we can fit in the cooler box? All right, so let's check. How many cans can we fit in length? We take the length of the cooler box, which is 65 centimeters, and we divide it by the length of the can, which is 7 centimeters. 65 divided by 7 is 9,2857, uh, but we'll round this off to 9 cans. Remember, if we round up, that last can won't fit. So we'll round down to 9 cans. How many cans we can fit in width? We take the width of the cooler box 50 centimeters we divide it by the width of the can which is 7 centimeters uh, and we find that we will be able to fit 7 comma 14 cans again we round down to 7 cans that last can won't fit so finally we check how many cans will fit in height. So then we take the height of the cooler box, which is 30 centimeters, and we divide it by the height of the can, which is 12 centimeters. This will give us 2.5, which we will round down to two cans. You can check that for yourself. So now the total number of cans that will fit in this cooler box would be nine cans in length, seven cans in width, times the two cans in uh, in height. So we work out that calculation, 9 times 7 times 2. We find that the total number of cans that will fit in this cooler box will be 126. Thank you.